I am not one of those engineers who mixes to a limiter. I really can't do that. I understand a lot of my colleagues work like that and it's amazing how they do it. But I, I, I come from a different school where I learned how to get really loud before I actually drop a limiter. So I have this amazing plugin in here, which is my Trubic limiter, which works amazingly well. And, and I'll have this at loud at minus eight so that this is the plugin that I'll be using for the reference that I'll be sending and sharing with my clients. And then just to watch it, I'm getting super loud, but then I'll change the parameters so I'm a little bit softer on that for when I'm sending to the mastering engineer. But the options in this one are amazing, the, how you can do the tone control, how you can add that extra whatever sorcery happens on the Excel algorithm from the entire BrainWorks line, which is great. But I won't mix to that. I'll keep it off. So when we first hit, that's the big kick, aptly named. Um, and that's just on the downbeat every now and then when I want to accent. But on the kick drum, you know, I wanted something punchy. This is built around a bass sample. And so I want punchy drums and occasionally that huge woof that the big kick is going to give me. But I want to leave room for the bass here. You got to decide what's going to be your super bottom. Is it going to be a drum? Is it going to be a kick drum? Is it going to be your bass? Everything can't live in the basement. Remember, there's a long way between 20 hertz throughout the whole bass range. Use that whole range, and that's how you get that real full low end. So this is the vocal with the parallel chain enabled. My life changes such a flash, sometimes I can't relax. Wish it out of pocket, I just jump back in my bag. My life changes such a flash, sometimes I can't relax. Wish it out of pocket, I just jump back in my bag. My life changes such a flash, sometimes I can't relax. Wish it out of pocket, I just jump back in my bag. So as you could hear, the vocal became much more prominent with the parallel compression enabled, but less prominent when I took it out. And that's one of the reasons why we would use it. So what did I do in a parallel chain? Well, I compressed it heavily with the MC77 limiter, and I followed it up with the channel 80, where I basically added in a ton of low end to smoothen out the vocal to lift it. So that's why we use parallel compression for this instance. And I'm just gonna quickly, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like when we take the original snare and we mix in this new snare sample that we've created from this kit. So as you can see, we can go from fully sample, and again, sample of the same drum, but we've mixed out all the bleed, all the way to the original, and everything in between. Same thing for the kick, I'll show you that. So the original. and then the final result. So the first plugin I used on the guitar is the BX Digital V3. It's great for surgical EQing. So any of those unwanted frequencies, you can just cut it, done. So if you notice, it got rid of a lot of that unwanted frequency. I'm going to solo that band so you could actually hear what I'm talking about. So around 3K, you could hear that certain frequency that's just sticking out that I didn't want to be there. As well as 5K. That, that piercing frequency I didn't want that to uh, be there as well, so I, I just cut that out using this EQ. So if you notice those frequencies that's just ringing out of it, I use this EQ to just notch them down to make it sound more clean. <laughs> 